This video will focus on logging in, managing users, signs, and media players. To start, go to the URL provided by the signage administrator. Once logged in, you'll be presented with a selection screen. Select Administration. From here, the Administration dashboard should come up. This dash shows several things. The status of the DMPs or media players, the number of users logged in, and any alerts that have been generated. Next is the Users tab. This tab will allow you to create or delete users and groups. Currently, there are two groups, All and Digital Signage, as well as two roles, Admin and Read Only. All users in the system will be Digital Signage users, and everyone other than administrators will fall into the Read Only group. Adding a new user is fairly simple. Click the Add New User box and fill in any open fields, then select Digital Signage Users from the Group Selection box, then click Save. The next tab is Services. Under this tab, you can verify that all system services are running. Also, at the bottom of this tab is the Options menu. Under this menu is the option to restart the server. Licensing is the final tab. It'll show you all of the currently installed licenses, or allow you to add more. Let's take a look in the upper right. The Home button will take us back to the dash, and the My Profile button will allow us to make changes to our user settings. The next option will show the same three things for our initial login, Administration, Digital Signage, and Cast. Let's select Digital Signage. On the Signage Administration dash, you can see the DMPs, number of users on the splash screen, as well as the current schedule for all the DMPs. Let's select Media Library. Here, as an administrator, we'll have the option to remove content. Simply select Options and Remove while hiding over each option. Second, under Schedules, you'll have the ability to play to all DMPs as well as schedule things now instead of setting them in the future. Simply select Digital Signage and any presentations you've created, and then click Submit. Also, under Play in the Future, you'll have the ability to schedule to all DMPs instead of a single location. Either right-click or click Add an Event and then pick Digital Signage. Select your group, which could be the All group, the Task Type, and the Start and End Time and click Save. Click Save All and Publish All to push that content out to all the endpoints. The next option is Digital Media Players. Under this menu, you can see green check marks for any digital player attached to the system or red X's for players that are turned off. You can also tell which location controls which access point. Lastly, under Settings, is all of the available user options. I won't go into the specifics, but each user will have create, read, write, or delete access to various roles. If you have any questions, please contact the systems administrator and they'll assist you. Thank you.